Please join us today as we drive from Cameron Islands down to Lummock. We had a great day. As we head down the mountain, we had a blast. We saw these guys. They were uh, kind of tormenting our bikes, so we parked them in a little better location. Please enjoy the video. Signal. Are we going right or left? Do you want to stop and reset the phone? Yeah, just come up ahead of me here. They grow uh, a lot of succulent plants and strawberries, basically. I don't know where they ship the strawberries to. The whole country can't be eating as many strawberries as they grow here. Or maybe they are, I don't know. interesting to look it up and see what's going on. Where are we going today, hon? Going to the Horse Ocean Star Resort. It's about three hours from here. And neither one of us know the name of the city. <laughs> Eighty-seven kilometers away, but it'll take three hours because of the roads, because of the traffic. Is our final destination or is that just a turn? That we're not going there? Yes, that would make a lot of sense because we're going to be there in like 20 minutes. I know, the distance doesn't make sense. Oh, nice. Just littered. Want to pull into this shell station and get gas while we're stopped?
they can't help the environment that they live in. As you can see, the roads washed out quite a bit. They've had some really heavy monsoon rains and the never ending rain here has really been tough lately. See the tarps on the right. There's portions of the road that are missing, like this area up here on the left. And so every time something happens, they just go in, rebuild it, and uh, overall the system works, I guess, just like the U.S. Yeah. A lot of times here, when they're doing road construction, places in the U.S. where they'd have flaggers, there aren't any. So you're kind of on your own to figure it out. It's a little refreshing, actually, that in any state that you sometimes see in the U.S. I don't know how many accidents they have because of it, but the system seems to work. We didn't see any. Ten feet deep. That's why the Porsches were here the other day. Big diversity of types of plants, aren't there? Hi, Pop. Beautiful baskets and wicker chairs.
Put this light on. We arrived outside this park and before you come in there's a big sign that says don't feed the monkeys but there's a vendor there with food and the tourists know it's a place to come feed them so they do. You can't see them from here unless I maybe zoom in. But uh, there are a bunch of monkeys in those trees over there. In a much more natural setting than alongside the road begging for food. Although I'm sure the same group hits the road every night for treats. Here I am out in the mangroves, super beautiful, great bird noises, seeing the little fish that can skip on to land and then skip back into the water, appropriately named mud skippers I think. I love this walk. It's cool out here despite it being very hot and muggy. This is beautiful. Well, definitely not alone out here, but it's pretty hard, hard to spot stuff. Absolutely beautiful. This is where they are restoring the mangrove. The sounds and the cool air are something else. It's really nice. I'm enjoying walking out here. Oh. So these are mud skippers, I think they call them, that are making that splashing noise. <laughs> uh, we've seen a lot smaller ones, but they're actually about six to eight inches here and when they're still you can hardly see them but if you startle them they're fish that can go on land and that's a wrap on the splashing noise i heard as i walk alone through the mangroves miles from anyone
I love this. Completely beautiful. So this is actually a three kilometer walk, which this park is actually quite large. There's a tower up ahead that you can climb up and look at the lakes here. If I had known a little bit more about this park, I would have been much more excited to get here early in the morning. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We enjoyed making it. It was a fun ride. Please enjoy these pictures at the end and have a great day. Mm -hmm.